šos esmu šnita pēcēm beginning of slithers pēcēm marks a new stage a different stage in the void of El in the Hafana of Rosh Hashanah before that the place came that the reason why we say slithers Dafka minimum of four days before the sun up because of the Chazal, Mr. Brewer brings it down from the El Yerabo because of the Chazal it's like the Yishalmi and it's a Medjish Rabba the Chazal asked why by all the Karbonis does the Savior craft them and the Marshall's Pinterest and the Musaf of Rosh Hashanah says Vasisa so the Rosh Hashanah Chazal is slightly different maybe we'll come back to it soon but that your Abba brings down because on Rosh Hashanah the Indian is Vasisim, a person himself is like a crowd, a person is mocker of himself. And there's an Indian of Arab Yom, there's an Indian of four days of Bikur, of checking if the carbon is kosher. Al Kaponim, the feet have shot in the Mishnah Brewer, so these four days of sleep, as I was going to say, are already the Hafana, the means already. The, the the wind of Rosh Hashanah is already blowing. The Abir of Rosh Hashanah is already blowing because we're getting ready for Rosh Hashanah itself. It's the Hachana of Rosh Hashanah. It's the Hachana for the Hakrovas, Hakorban, and Rosh Hashanah. It's a different different shlav in El. The Gemara says in Rosh Hashanah that Tzayim. Amr Rav Yitzchok in Donin es Adam El Yimais of Shalaisa Shah. Only done a person according to his actions at that minute. Shenemar ki shama alikim is kol hanar b'asher usham. It says by Yishmael, that Rosh Hashanah heard his voice b'asher usham. Malach and Tainit, Yishmael is going to do so much damage. The pair of Adam, Rosh Hashanah will answer b'asher usham. We don't look at the future. We don't know what the way he is. What that and swarm that. That's one of the reasons why we lay on Rosh Hashanah of Hashem Poka the Sorrow. One of the reasons why we lay on on Rosh Hashanah of Hashem Poka the Sorrow is because the story of Yishmael brought down in Bashar Rusham. And we want to be Zaycha in that school of that goes both who judge us the way we are. The Rath brings down over here, over here Rosh Hashanah says a Kiddush. The Bashar Shah the Gemara is, is that Malach Tainid that Yishmael is going to be a parallel. That goes both who says, Die Kiddush, I'm not looking at the future, we're looking at the present. But the Rach speaks out over here that we don't just look at the, we don't, we don't, we don't just ignore the future, we ignore the past. The Rach brings down a Pasuk in here, over here. Pasuk in here says, Im zach v'yoshor ato, if, if you're zach v'yoshor, if you're pure and you're yoshor, ki ato yoyor olecho, v'shileim nevas tzidkecho. Says the Rach, that the Pshat, the Pasuk is, Im zach v'yoshor ato. If you're a Zach and you're a Yosho, ki ate yor olacho, so you'll get a Yisairus of Rachamim. Vahoyer e shischa mitzor, the beginning will be difficult. Vahoyerischa yishgem oid, yishgem oid, and your end will be gvaldik. So the Rach is saying a Chiddush, that not only don't we look at the future, but we look at the present only, im Zach li Yosher atom. Vasher Rusham, we look at what you are now. Zach li Yosher, you're a Zach li Yosher, you're beseder, you can pass the Mishpach. That's why it's brought down in all the Svarim HaKadmoinim already, not just a, a recent thing. That one of the eights is for Rosh Hashanah, very big year in Madin. There's so much that we have yeah, at stake in the Mishpah, the Ruchnius and Gashmius, that one of the eights is Masher Rosham, Zach the Yosher Atta, Vida Zach the Yosher when it comes to Rosh Hashanah. They stay in the Gemara over here, Masher Rosham, and Don is Adam. And the question is, what does that mean? Was it a bluff? It's a fake? How does this mechanism work? A whole year person does what he wants, a whole life person does what he wants. He comes with Shoshana and drink here Shafer, he's, he's a good boy. So he doesn't do anything. He's actually Yosher, he's fine. What does it mean? Basher Rosh Hashanah. What does it mean? What does it mean? Like this. We say in Davening and Musaf on Rosh Hashanah in Zechreinus. 
מרשיס קוזויס וידוטו, מלפנים אויסו גליסו, זה היה יום תחילה מהסכו, זיכורן ליום ראשון. מה זה המילים האלה? אז מרשיס קוזויס וידוטו means, זה רן בראש השנה, אני אגיד את זה בעוד שנייה בצד. מרשיס קוזויס וידוטו means, nobody can come along and say, I didn't know there was Rosh Hashanah coming up. Meirashis Kazai Saidata means Hashem was Midiya in the beginning of the Bria that there's a din. Meirashis Kazai Saidata. Why? Zeh Yoyim Tchilas Masecha. What's the connection? So there's a Ran. The Ran in Rosh Hashanah, Esa Kash, and he says Pshat. And this is the Chayim of the Pshat and what we say, this is Musaf that we say in Musaf. Ran says like this. Yesh Lisho. Lama the Rosh Lama Adam Nidan Rosh Hashanah Yesem Ibishar Yomim. Why is a Mishpat Rosh Hashanah? The Mishpat Rosh Hashanah Dvarim Tvuah Peris Nihilon Mayim Kolachot Bismanui Nidan. What's up is Adam is Nidan Rosh Hashanah. So he answers. The tirits do as they'll demandu psikta. Dear Shur Hashem be motzei. The Tanya, the psikta brings down the whole story that an Esra Hamisha be Elul on the twenty fifth of Elul the world was created, and on the sixth day, which was Rosh Chodesh Tishrei, Adam Rishon was created. Shaboy Nigmar Oilam. And then the psikta goes through the whole story. He did Avera. Did Stava Basir Sarach be Achas Esra Nida in B'shtem Esra Yotza B'Dimus. The twelfth hour, Hakadosh Baruch Hu is mekabel his tshuva. Amar lo Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Zeh simon lebanecha kishem shal marat alafanai bedin beyom zeh biyatzosa bedimus. The same way on this day, you were with bedin and you went out b'shalom. Kach asid lebanecha liyos ein dim lefanai bedin beyom zeh beyoyis bedimus. Lefanai zeh ein zeh lefanai zeshvi. Shtein b'psikta. Other mission was created on Echad B'Tishrei. The world was created on the 25th of Elul. Other mission was created on the first day of Tishrei. On that day, he did the Chet Adam Rishon. He was punished, and he was dandled up by Akash Bofu. Bidimos, he came out alive. He survived the dinner. Akash Bofu said that the same way on this day, you were Nishpat, and you came out, you survived the Nishpat, as Avonecha Asidim. So there's a Pelot de Kakasha. That's a Pelot. Although that's brought down, that the Hashem speaks out already, that everything, every Zach which is Nikva and this man, by Yom and Heim as man as there is Nikva and the Doris. That's what Shad and the Ram. That's what it means in that thing that we say, Mereshis Kazais Hedotah, it's this Ram. That's what the Bafosha bring down. The Sechai and others, they bring down that Mereshis Kazais Hedotah, because Bafosha was my dear. I'm going to dine you every year. Nobody comes along and says, I didn't know about Rosh Hashanah. It's engraved in the Bria Sa'adam. Because both who said that's going to come this day, you're going to be neither. But there's a penalty for Kasha. Bishlema, Zeh, Yom, Tchilas, Masecha, this is the day the other region was created. So that's engraved in the Bria, the Echot B'Tishri is the day of Bria Sa'adam. Fine. It's every year, it's the Shadish the Bria again. The Mishpat that came on Echot B'Tishri is the Mikra. Other region sin, he did the Chet. There's a chet, you have to have a mishpat. But the mishpat's not something which is intrinsic to Aleph Tishrei. It rather worked out that it was Aleph Tishrei. Oh, but what's mean that Yom Hazeh? Yom Hazeh, Zeh, Yom Tzil, Masach, a dosmash neighbor. That this is the day. It rather came out in Echot B'Tishrei, that the grad is. That's, that that the mikra came out in Aleph Tishrei, because that's the day that the chet is not a reason that the mishpat, I mean, if it's Taka Shver, that the Ran asks, that Aleph B'Tishrei is not the day that it should be. What's up with Aleph B'Tishrei? Mechatesi. Is if he would answer, because that's the day on which it was created, so every year there's a recreation, there's his chachas and a kosh who dance up again, because hey, that makes sense. That we understand. That's not what the Ran says. The Ran says that because, because he was chaytah, and because there was a mishpah, and he survived the mishpah, it's, it's not that day, kosh bohu was medir, you always get out of mishpah. Say that, that's been a mikra. It happened to be arbitrarily worked out that day. What's that a reason that in all the days the Mishpat has to be Dafka and Aleph Petisha? Aleph Petisha is not the day of Mishpat. Aleph Petisha is the day that he sinned. Rather, it was a Mishpat. The Abad is Shteito. And the Shteito is a little thin. Shteito. The Rish is Kozois Hoidot. I already was with you that this is the day of Mishpat. The Abad is Shteito. 
that there's an intrinsic teeth connection between Zeh Ayyayim Tchilas Ma'asecho and the Etzim Mishpat itself. It's not the Mikra that it landed on the day that he did a Chet. It can't be like that. And there are those who say, Terrence, based on the Mishnah in Birgit Yavis, the Mishnah says in Birgit Yavis, in the end of Berg Dalit, Somebody who's alive is aimed to the din. The Maral says over there in Rikki Ovis that the Pshad is Chaim is somebody who's close to Akkadah's Brofu. The closest you can get to Akkadah's Brofu is if you're alive. You have a Chiyas of Akkadah's Brofu. So Maral says he's saying over there that the closer you are to Kuchabrikha, the closer you are to Din. Because Kirvas Haboyre automatically brings in the Sviva of the Jaro Moi, Akash Bokhu Metakte, the Chut Asairo, wherever there's a Kirvashaf with Akash Bokhu, there's automatically Din. Hachaim Lidoin, Maral speaks of all our Rikhs over there. Akash Bokhu is Din, and when there's a Kirvashaf with Akash Bokhu, whoever is close to Akash Bokhu, so other Mauritian who was the closest to Akash Bokhu was the Yitzir Kap of Akash Bokhu. So his etzim creation automatically created a matzav of din. That's, that's one mahalach, which is, which is avada richtig of mahalach, that din comes with kirva takodesh bochu, and the, and the kirva shaf takodesh bochu, because nobody was close to other mishan. So his bria, your mishan, was the seeper for the din also. I want to say a similar hasbur, I'll be something that I've spoken about in the past in Shiva, <coughs> but it's a get of shot in this, in this shver ran which is the get to the heart of the essence of Rosh Hashanah, it's the get to the heart of the essence of our Avoidah. Like I said in the beginning, whatever we did on Elul, we did. If, if we made use, everybody does something Elul. If we made use of the Elul, good. If we didn't make use of the Elul, we didn't make use of the Elul. But now, we're already air of Rosh Hashanah, and now we have to focus on what can we have around Rosh Hashanah, on the Gavaldic attack. So I want to say over uh, a mahalaf that I heard from a Volbit, and he's printed in different ways in his form and different ways he said like this. We know that our Shoshana, the entire avoid of Rosh Hashanah is Malchus. How do we know that's the avoid of? Because Chazal dictated to us what the avoid is through the Tfilis. There's nothing about Tshuva, there's nothing about Averis, there's nothing about Chatoim. Hagam de Rosh Hashanah is the first day that says me Tshuva. May Dir Shashem be Matsoi, Karu be Yesa Koru, who's referring to, to Rosh Hashanah, referring to Asayas be Tshuva. But Chazal dictated that our Avoida doesn't touch any of that. We don't mention anything except for what we say in the Piyutim. But it's at Takon of Chazal, our Avoida is Malchus. We don't touch the Mokhet, we don't touch the Mishpat Bukhal. In all of the davening, Kemat, except for Zechroinus, but the, 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 the Kiddushas Hayoyim, the Tzura Avoida today is Malchus. What about the Mishpah? What about the Din? So he said like this, he said that the Mohus of Rosh Hashanah, hello, there are three things that, that go on in Rosh Hashanah. There's the creation of other Mauritian, like the Ran says. <coughs> there's the Mishpah, there's the Din. And we have Malchus. The the interweaving of these three things is as follows. The Balta who created other Mauritian on Aleph Tishrei, so Malchusa Yisborach was this gal in the world on Aleph Tishrei. It wasn't created. Because what was Malach before? Azai Malach. But the Gilui of Malchusa Yisborach was the creation of a Malach Boloyom. Is the Gilu of the Malchus of Akkadosh Baruch Hu, that Akkadosh Baruch Hu, the boss, and he's the Melech of Kol Oil, was this Gal when Adam was created. So every year on Aleph Tishrei, with the Hishachos of Zeh Hayyim Tchilas Masecho, that is the Hishachos every year of the recreation of the Bria and Befrat, the recreation of Adam Rishon, there's also a recreation of, of Gilu Tvoi the Malchus of the world. There's a Gilu of Tvoi the Malchus of the world, Akkadosh Baruch Hu comes, the Melech comes. And when the Melech comes, 
That's the mishpat. Put down in a lot of form. The mishpat of Rosh Hashanah is when the melech comes. How does a yid receive him? And that's why, first of all, all the all the tefillah that we say on Rosh Hashanah is only one thing: we want the melech. The melech say we want him. Because that's the mishpat. The mishpat is the melech comes. There's a gilu kvoy machusim when the shofar blows. He said, "That's when there's a gilu kvoy machusim, but it's the whole day." And the melech comes and he knocks on the door. And the question is, how are we seeing? We said, "I'm noyved the kazach." The pasuk says, "We say on the dove in mizmor." And I looked around. I didn't see anybody else who says the pshat. But for Shem Matil, don't say this. But he says the pshat like this. He said, "A dove and We say, "Su shar v'sheichem." The first pasuk says that when Kadosh Baruch Hu comes, is Gibor Muhammad. Afterwards, it says Tushar Mashech Musu Pischeirlam Biyom Melach Hakavod. Mi was a Melach Hakavod. Hashem Tzavaka is a Melach Hakavod. So one pasuk says that Hashem is Izos Gibor Muhammad, and one pasuk says Hashem Tzavaka is a Melach Hakavod. So when is it Melach Hakavod? When is Izos Gibor? When is Kadosh Baruch Hu a Melach Hakavod? And when is HaKadosh Baruch Hu Gibor Muhammad? Very scary. So he said as follows. He said, Suhu Shoham Roshechem. HaKadosh Baruch Hu knocks on the door. Suhu Shoham Roshechem means open up. HaKadosh Baruch Hu knocks on the door. Remember, as a buffer, he banged on the shlendo like that. He said, knock, knock. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to come. Now, what do you do when HaKadosh Baruch Hu knocks on your door? So there are two types of people. The second type is usu pischeirlam. You open up the door. The shabbos knocks. Rakasha, come inside. Wait for you. Usu pischeirlam. You open up the door. Fakad the shabbos. Miu zemel hakavod. Hashem tevalko is zemel hakavod itzalo. It's gavaldik. Hashem tevalko is zemel hakavod itzalo. But then there are people never who the shabbos knocks on the door. Su shom rasheichem. Open up. They don't open. What happens by them? They don't open. No, so I can stand outside in the cold. No. The Hinosu, he comes in. How does he come in? The Hinosu, the door gets opened anyway. He busts in. The doors get opened by themselves. Either you open or you get opened up. I remember he said in Yiddish, He comes. You can't stop from coming. You can't stop from coming in. He comes in. The question is, if you open the door, if you open the door, then it means that I'll come, I'll come and sell them. But if it's Hinasu, if the door has to get broken in, you don't open, so then he comes. So he said that the essence of Rosh Hashanah is that Rosh Hashanah comes, he knocks on the door, he says, open up. And the din of Rosh Hashanah is, is it Su'u or it's Hinasu? If it's Su'u, if you open up, Hashem tzvok is melech hakovei tzela. With the ganz hazach, and it's being also, and the door has to bother. Come, Kadosh Baruch Hu is not scared of black doors. He comes in, but if he comes in when he's not welcome, so then it's Hashem give him a chum. I always give a marshal to this. Give a marshal. It's very simple. If it's Thursday afternoon in a regular Jewish house, turmoil, tuts of meisim, kids cooking, baking. You guys are youngsters, you don't know how it looks, but <coughs> you can imagine. And, and the doorbell rings, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The kid goes looking at the door, looks in the peak hole, comes running back to his mother and says, It's Bobby. But the Schwigger Bobby, not the. <laughs> <laughs> not that no. So now it's uh, Ace Mohom over here, so they, they, they go into the area, they press that they're trained, that special move. <laughs> drills for what happens on Thursday afternoon when the bubble comes unexpected. Everyone goes into position. All the ones who go to the one closet, the dishes go to the other closet. Say anything or not. Talk about a normal, a normal shit. Of course she doesn't say anything because she's welcomed. I don't know if she's welcomed there. Because they're they cleaned up the house. It's a mushroom. And the mushroom is like a girl who knocks on our door. And the question is, do we care enough to welcome him in? Is enough an army? 
if we would be good balabusters and we would keep the house under control the whole year, so we wouldn't have to go into such a frenzy air Rosh Hashanah and put the stuff here and put the stuff there and, and make believe it's Musa. It's true. Also to Musa. There's a big Kabbalah bus that has the house always Musa. The speaker's band, the shaker can come in without ringing the bell, walk in, finish, eat up the floor. No, we're not like that. We're not so. But the when you when come in, you make an effort to clean up the house. To keep the make believe that we want. What's the, why is it make believe? It's not a make believe. It's not a the photos were showing that we want, so the house is a mess. But before, we want you to come. So what do we say? We, we open the door, we say that because we want you to come in, we want you to be part of our lives, we want you to be part of, of Malchus Hashem, the house is a mess, we try to clean up, this is there, that's there, but come. That's the way of what it means. that the Bria Sa'odam and the Din, the Bria Sa'odam and the Din are intertwined with one another. It's not been Mikra at all. Because Bria Sa'odam is Malchus. The creation of, of other region is what was Mizgala, Mahusa is Baruch in the world. And wherever there's a Gilu of Mahusa is Baruch in the world, there's Din. That's the Din. That is the din itself. The din itself is, how do you receive the melech? And that's why we don't dab for anything else, because how much we want HaKadosh Baruch Hu to come into our door, that's the din itself. That's, that's how much HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives another year, working as Bagashmias. So it's not the mikra of Bechlau. That's what the Ran is saying. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Mivashis Kazais Haidoto. This was the day that you created. This is the day of Zerim Tzilas Masafa. This is the day of Gilu Tvoyim Machusei in the world. And this is the day of the din, because that's the din. The din is what his mouth is. Do you want him? That was the day that was his gal of in the world. Right away he sinned, and right away he was damned up on that mouth is. So the two things are intertwined. And we may we understand. La mita is shal dvar, and what the shot of Basher Usham is. It's a fake? It's not a fake. Basher Usham is that your house is only going to be as clean as you kept it clean the whole year. But Basher Usham means that the danning you defeat what you want the mouth is at that second. It means without the mishpat is. So Usham or Shaykh, that's the Mishpah, the Mishpah who knocks on the door. And the Mishpah is how much do you receive him? So the Mishpah is the few what you receive him. And nothing on me. If we would if we would be re- if we would be fair for the melon from Purim time, so the Basher Usham would be a lot better Basher Usham. But the din is the Basher Usham. The din is so, so yes, where's the midst of the virus, all that is included in it, what our house looks like. That's true. Avat the richtig of the Vibalt the Iker is how do you receive the melech? And everything that we did the whole year is, a, is an accumulation and it has hashpa on that. But at the end of the day, a person has a way of putting everything in the closets, but deny that he really wants the melech. And that's why it's basher rusham. Zach the yosha atta says a bit of an If you're zach the yosha now, if you are zach the yosha atta yoyer, there'll be a rachamim. Because you want the melech. And of course, has a way of ignoring the, the things leaking out of the closets. <laughs> Because you made an effort, because you cared. You wanted the melech, you opened the door. And the mishpat of Rosh Hashanah and the Briya Sa'adam are, 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 are totally zeb zeb mamish. It could be that's Pashat in the Yushami that I mentioned before. Yushami says, since you went into Din Mala ni Alechem Kilo Hayoim Nasasim Kilo Hayoim Barosias and Berich Adoshim. The Shalmi says, What's the Lashon of Asisim? By all the Korbanos, most of it says, We craft them. What happens? It says, Vasisim. Because you went into Mishpat and you came out of the Mishpat. It's Kilo Nasasim Hayoim as a Kilo Yer Berich Adoshim, you're a new person. What's that connected to the Mishpat? Why is the mishpat a siba that you're a berry of hadosha? Well, if you what we're saying, the pshat is, is that the whole mishpat, the mishpat and bria sa'adam are intertwined zeb zeb, the hainu hach. Bria sa'adam is the siba for the mishpat. Bria sa'adam is the gilu of tvoid machusa in the world. And that's the, and that's the mishpat itself. Is the two things are intertwined with this mishpat, this bria, with this bria, this mishpat, it's all, it's all zeb zeb. 
And what that means is, what that means is, is that linking behind the Mishpat of Rosh Hashanah, the same Nikuda that brings the din of Rosh Hashanah also creates the opportunity to begin a new, a new leaf. Because what creates the Mishpat of Rosh Hashanah is the Zayim Tchilas Masecha, is the recreation of Adam Rishon and the Gilu Kvayim Achus that comes from that recreation. And together with that, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives you the Kalim to open the door for him. Because Zayim Tchilas Masecha, because you have a new Eschat, you have a very Echadosha. And the two things are Hainu Hach, the Mishpat is because you're very Echadosha and also brings the opportunity of very Echadosha. And that explains the strangest phenomenon that we have in Rosh Hashanah and all the Kadmonim and Balimusa spoke about. It. On one hand, we're going to say in a few minutes in Slichus, Zeichalim Viroya Dimiyoim Boyecha. We shake in fear and trepidation for the day of your coming. In a few minutes, we're going to say it. Miyoim Boyecha in Rosh Hashanah is the day that Akkosh Bokhu comes. That's Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is Yoim Boyecha. Akkosh Bokhu comes. That's it. Keep up. Is that right? The Pachat Chodem? And on the other hand, it's brought down in its form in the Novi, Leich, Eat, Yontif, it's Gewaldic. And we have this mixture of, of Simcha and Pachat Neira, the emphasis, Shtei Pasuk in Tehillim. Yisro Kwa Shemayim, 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 the whole Briya is the Simcha. Oz Yiran and Ukolat Zihar Lefne Hashem, Kivo, Everybody's clapping and singing. Why? Why is everybody so happy? Because the Mishpat comes, comes. So the Mishpat comes not with an intense kirva. It comes as a result of an intense kirva. So we have mixed emotions and they're both true and they're both at the same time. On one hand, we're zeichel dem v'royed dem yoyim b'yachol. On one hand, we're shaking in fear because the Kodesh is coming. And how do we look in the eyes of our Kodesh Bokhu? Vikuk benoyis. How does our house look? How long do we have to tell Kodesh Bokhu to wait at the door before we open? Keep shooting. On the other hand, the kirva shaft of b'yecho kivo. When it's kivo, it's lish b'nas ha'aretz. The coming itself is a mish. But the Kodesh Bokhu comes. How do we receive him? How do we open the door? Richtig. Aber kivo. When a Kodesh Baruch Hu comes, it's Yira HaMoloi, it's a Chavaldik Asimcha, it's a Chavaldik opportunity. It's a Chavaldik opportunity for Kirva Sabayri. The Kirva is the Mishpat. But if we pass the Mishpat, which is saying that we want the Kirva, then we're Zaycha in the Kirva, and we pass the Mishpat. We have both. We have two birds with one stone. So on one hand, it's a Chavaldik Apachat, and on the other hand, it's a Chavaldik Asimcha, a Chavaldik opportunity. And that's the Mohus of Rosh Hashanah. Adben Nitzavim Lufnei Hashem Elekechem. Atem mitzvahim hayoyim lefnei Hashem alekechem shteitin zoyah that's going around Rosh Hashanah. Because all Rosh Hashanah is one thing: is that you stand in front of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. When a person stands in front of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, he can't fool himself, he can't nazar himself, he can't say he can't shmir himself, he can't say this was that and that was that. Hakadosh Baruch Hu sees everything; he knows everything. He knows all our our chesreinus. He knows all our sheker. He knows all our negias. Rosh Hashanah puts us right in front of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Why? Because Hakadosh Baruch Hu comes. So there's a gil, he comes, comes right, right into our hearts. He knocks on our doors and he says, open up. If you don't want to open up, I'm going to come anyway. But he comes and he puts us in front of him. He comes to us and we stand in front of him. And we can't fool ourselves. But the standing in front of him is the opportunity to save ourselves. And to say, we want. We are opening the door. The house is a mess. Try to clean up a little bit. We're going to try a little bit more to clean up. We have four days left. But come. And that welcome mat to put your bruchu that we want to go to in our lives. And we want to renew ourselves. And we want to change ourselves. And we want to be better next year. That's the avoid in the coming days now. And there's another added benefit. When we're in front of the Melech, it means when the Melech is here and we're in front of him, we have an opportunity to tell him, you're the Melech, don't send this way empty-handed. And we have a guarantee that whenever we put ourselves in front of the Melech, we have the right to ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Reikam Al Tushivayu, don't tear us away empty-handed. We need so much. We need so much in Rufinius. We need so much in Gashmius. 
means the Moshe Kal Yisrael. It means the Moshe the whole Bria. So a whole year, we have to put ourselves in front of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Rosh Hashanah is Atem Mitzvah for Hashem. We're moving for Nechov, and it's Malkenu. And the Baruch Hu should bench us. That Reikom Al Tishivenu. He shouldn't turn us away, empty-handed, mivuyish. And we have a guarantee that if we accept with the Simcha that for Nechov, with all the obligations that it brings, with all the Achrayis that it brings, with all the chains that it requires, Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, Mizumel Hakovit Zelo. Yeah, that's so